Alright guys, Cooley here, back in action for Legacy Direct Beyond TV. Uh, Wayne Snell is, Leader Club package here. And so basically, uh, we are just starting a brand new, starting up a brand new box. You know, uh, it's preloading right now, just like we're starting a computer. And so basically, it's going to preload the new software, and we're going to go ahead and do a little quick tutorial how to update the software on the Beyond TV here when you first get it. When you first get it. Okay, when you first get this box, okay, you're gonna have to update the software right away. So, this is the home screen, just like a desktop screen on your home screen on your laptop here. Okay, by using your remote here, you click on the BTV app, and as you can see, it's gonna preload. Alright, and this is the interface is what it looks like, as you guys can see, and the add-ons must be updated, uh, it shows on top of the taskbar here, and so once it's already, the add-ons are updated, so you click back on the home screen here, this is the home screen right here bottom left corner okay and this is return this is menu and this is your mouse so click on home click on this middle icon right here and then you want to do is scroll to the right beyond tv updater you want to click ok welcome to btv 2.0 And as you can see, you got two options, uninstall Beyond TV or download. You don't want to uninstall the Beyond TV app, otherwise you will lose the app itself. Download. So when you click right, there's a green sign right here, and you click OK, and you're going to download. We recommend that you have a direct Ethernet port connection to this box. Otherwise, if you do Wi-Fi, you're going to be waiting for at least an hour or two just to update the software for its first time. And we're running 50 megabytes here on Time Warner Cable. And uh, it took us about, you know, 10, 12 minutes tops running a direct connection. And so it really depends on how, how fast your speed is back at home here. So we recommend you to have the highest speed for Internet. And as you can see, it's downloading a lot of files. So you're going to see this yellow, t yellow bar go all the way to the right. And once it's done downloading, it's going to pop up and say extracting. So, you want to pause it? Or? Yep. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pause it. As you can see, it's done downloading. And the second part is extracting right now. So it's extracting all the files that was downloaded. It's kind of like downloading zip files from the computer and extracting the zip files into the computer. So that's what the software is doing right now. Pause number two. As you can see, it's the yellow bar was like halfway and then it shoots back down. Oh, that's normal, okay? And so eventually extracting, it, extracting the files is faster than downloading the files. And once it's done extracting, we are going to go ahead and click on the Beyond TV app itself. So I appreciate your guys' patience for watching this. Uh, making sure that your box is, you know, being updated properly. And uh, there are times when we had to update the software three or four times. And so it all depends how fast your internet speed is as well. And so there's a bunch of files being extracted right now. And once it's done, we can go ahead and click on the Beyond TV app. Alright, now as you can see, 
There's no more downloading or extracting anymore. There's no more yellow bars down here. That means you're all set to go. So what I do is I just click home. I click on the BTV app. No movies. Oh shoot. Hang on. You gotta kid me. Reboot. Reboot. Here we go. Let's do this again. And uh, there should be some video add-ons being updated on top of here on the taskbar right here. And uh, make sure it's fully updated because there's a bunch of add-ons. I mean hundreds of add-ons being updated right now. And so you got your movie app, TV app, karaoke, international program app, your kids zones app, sports, live TV, extras, karaoke, music. Pictures, games, settings, quits, BTV exclusives, and this is how the main interface should look like after updating. And as you can see, the, the add-ons are still being updated, so I am not going to play around too much with this. And this is how it should look like. So thank you guys for watching. You know, and uh, Legacy Direct all the way, guys. When you got things to say? Yep, just make sure you wait for all of these to finish in their entirety. Do not do anything else until these are done. Be patient. Alright, so Cooley and uh, Mr. Wayne Snell is back here at it again for uh, video number two uh, product tutorial. We're continuing this. And so make sure that your applications on the main interface, that you have all of them. Movies, TV shows, international programs, kids zones, sports, live TV, extras, karaoke, music, pictures, games, settings, and quit, and also BTV exclusives and your favorites here. And so make sure you have all these applications on the main interface. If not, if you don't see any of these, and you're missing some of them, you're gonna go, you're gonna click home here, and go back to the middle icon, and click on Beyond TV Updater again. And make sure that this is on the green side that you're going to download and download the software again and extract the files one more time. And so there are times when we had to do this on, I don't know, we had to do it on a couple boxes here already. So it's, it's normal, you know. Sometimes the software doesn't work. Same thing like having a computer. Done. All right, back. go back. BTV. Ready to roll. Ready to roll.